Yes, people, welcome back to the Mac by Channel TV. It's in a portrait mode for some reason, yeah, at the Emirates. Live match reaction after that defeat. My days, that was bad. That was so, so bad, man. 4 1 at the Emirates. You'll see plenty of videos coming soon. You can see AFTV in the background there. I've been on there in the last uh, half an hour or so. And you'll see the match day vlog coming as well, but uh, I just thought I'd jump on quickly, do a live for head back to the hotel on this wet, cold night in London where we have been absolutely battered. That was honestly one of the worst performances of the season. That was absolutely horrific. It was really, really bad, wasn't it? I mean, like I said in the build-up videos and stuff that like you might have seen, I didn't expect anything against Arsenal. I really didn't. Listen to one of the best teams in the league. They're going for the league. They're in that title race, but we just didn't do a thing. We just didn't do a thing. It was one of the worst performances for me since the takeover. It honestly was. I thought it was absolutely diabolical. I thought to a man, not one of them performed well tonight. I really, really thought not one of them performed well. I thought we were crap in every department. We were slow. You've seen from the kickoff, from the kickoff, that Arsenal were way more up for it. They had that reaction from that defeat in Porto. They got a couple of corners within the first bloody 10 seconds or something, right in front of me, right in front of the away end. And uh, Newcastle had no response. I thought second half, they must have got a bollock enough Eddie Howe, because second half they came out and they were a lot stronger, they were a lot better. We actually strung some passes together. But before that, we were terrible. That first half was absolutely woeful. I mean, going back to the lineups, you know, Carries comes in, he's conceded a four and eight, but I don't think you can really blame him. I don't think you can blame him too much. Really, you know, Tino Livermento comes in, we're all crying out for Tino to come in for, for Dan Byrne, and at the end of the day, uh, he doesn't do any better, <laughs> to be honest. Everyone, it's the midfield doing it. Listen, I've been seeing a lot of Arsenal fans tonight. Like I said before, you can see Arsenal fans have been in the background there, and a lot of the times I've said that we're missing Joe Linton massively. We are hugely, hugely missing Joe Linton in that middle of the park. Uh, Joe Willick thankfully came in, got a consolation goal against his former side. And like I said in the in the vlog when you'll you'll see it uploaded, is that we actually conceded four, but we did actually score a goal for the first time in four in since 2014. Sorry, since 2014 we scored a goal. I haven't seen a goal here, and there's several years that I've been coming here, and we've finally scored one tonight. But obviously it was a consolation, which uh, meant absolutely nout. But uh, it was embarrassing tonight. Listen what Arte I said at St James's Park. It's a disgrace. It's embarrassing. That's what it was tonight for Newcastle. I honestly thought it was embarrassing. I thought it was a disgrace. I thought it was really, really poor. I was surprised at how bad that was. Like I said, I didn't expect anything tonight against Arsenal. They are the better side. I expected a bit more fight. I expected a lot more. You know, I thought we were really, really bad. I was really good with that performance. You know, a lot of us have travelled down far. 500 mile plus round trip on a Saturday night, 8 o'clock. To see that crap, it was really, really terrible. It really was. We didn't show nothing. We never looked like scoring. Couldn't string passes together. You know, it was uh, it was really bad. I was devastated with how easy it was for Arsenal. You don't want to make it easy for Arsenal. You know, they're a very good side. You don't want to make it easy for them where they had an absolute field day. Do you know what I mean? They had an absolute easy, easy day out for them, <laughs> which they didn't need. And uh, I was talking to a lot of fans where they were, they were surprised at how bad Newcastle were. They thought they'd have a bit more of a fight from Newcastle. Let's just see these Arsenal fans celebrating. Yeah. Lewis, Cecil, get Cecil in from Arsenal Fan TV. Yeah. We had the box to box with him on EFTV. He expected a lot more. Cecil, we're live on YouTube, oh, you, mate. You've actually, you've actually turned oh, up. Yeah, I was here, yeah, mate. You've actually turned up. Oh, yeah, I've done me bit with Robbie. Yeah, fair. Listen, he said to me on the box, I said, win or lose, you're going to be here. And to be fair, you showed here. up. I'm still here, mate. Unfortunately, wish I wasn't. I can't. I, I, I was just saying. We're sick. <laughs> are you surprised at how bad Newcastle were, though? How easy it was? Because you said 1-0 in the preview. Bro, because I'm... I, I know. I, I don't know what it is. I get nervous. <laughs> I, well, every after time midweek, you're right, dude. Yeah, you? that's what well, that, everyone keeps telling me. Oh, you got to start, you know, back in team that like you shouldn't feel. But, but it's because of Porto, and I thought you guys were set up, be defensively sound. But, I mean, we were honestly sensational. From Jorginho, I didn't expect even Jorginho to start in that midfield. He controlled the game. Um, oh, he was quality, bro. And have, bro, you made Havertz look very he good. Scored. <laughs> he scored. He scored. Oh my. Man, days. it was mental. But um, no, I, listen, I, I didn't. I didn't expect you guys to be that bad. 
I did expect us to bounce back in some capacity, but I didn't. Listen, four goals. That's 25 goals, bro, in six games. That's a lock on Studio for Newcastle as well. Uh, yeah, you guys, what, you was on 18, what, you on like, yeah, 22 now? 22 goals conceded in the last, I don't I forgot, I forgot what the stat, I think it's six games or whatever, but. It's not we, Yeah, it's not good. But, you know what, I'm, it's not, do you know what, I know you're upset. Sorry, people, I know this is Newcastle and all that, I get it, but. This guy's, I've seen this guy's face every time at St. James' Park and he's just smiling at me. He's just oozing, he's in good drip, he's looking nice, feeling good. This, you know what I mean? That's what I'm at, he is. But today, I can enjoy a little bit, man. But, um, you can, yeah, mate, I, you can. I mean, I said, the last thing we want to do is make this easy for Arsenal. And I thought we did that, mate. Yeah. I thought we were so slow, off it, not First on it. First half, you lot didn't do, I'll be honest. We, we, we couldn't string a pass together. I couldn't believe, we thought we, I think it was like, Three touches in our half, um, in, in our box, sorry, for you guys. And it was like something crazy for us. I was like, we were just on absolute fire. And it could have been more, which it is been. painful to say for you, but it could have been more. So it was a good But was... at least Joe will have scored. <laughs> <laughs> of all people. Of all people. Of all people. Oh, of all people, Joe will have scored. Yeah, that, that. Do you know what? When it's 4 1. You don't it is, I don't really give a shit. Did, did, did you rate Joe when he was at Arsenal? Would you have kept him or were you all right to see him go again? No, I was all right to see him go. And he's, I, I looked at it, he's like. Up the mugs, he's he like, does, up he the, does. Up, up the, the mugs. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. He's one of our, um, he's one of our highest sold players, which is crazy. He's, I think he's like top three, top 25 five. 25 million. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a high. For us, we don't normally sell players for, for you know, profit. And he he was obviously, I know he's, he's a hell boy, but. There was a lot of money, it was a lot of profit for us. So, mm. and, I, and if I'm honest, not, I wasn't. I wouldn't say I'm happy to see him go, but it was the right move. He done mm. well when he came to you guys. He was on top form when he first landed. Deserved that chance to yeah, push on. Yeah, yeah, exactly that, exactly. And I, I, I'm honest, I'm happy for him mm. coming back from injury, coming straight on, uh, off, obviously off the bench and scoring. Fair play to Willock, man. Fair play. Uh, listen, look after. You guys have looked after him. Keep looking after him. So Newcastle, we're in great and age, but uh, we've still got the FA Cup. I was saying to Robbie now, bigger fish to fry. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying we've got the quarter final to get. I mean, that's, that's the most important thing. And try and get European football. How are you going to see the season play out for Arsenal? This is a big win for you mm. and City won again, of course they did, even yeah. though you know, it wasn't they weren't even great. Yeah, they weren't even great. But they you, you are great. playing great, you are scoring goals, so you must be confident. <sighs> Matty, bro, I know you're doing it. I know you're doing it. I'm pushing him on it. I do this. I'm the interview. I normally do this. It's funny because I literally just interviewed the boys at the studio and I said, like, bro, look at the form off the back of Dubai. Like, you can't help but go into every game and expect three, four goals. Like, that is, that is title, that's title winning form. and. And obviously, I say I would keep. I asked them, "What's stopping us?" And of course, it's City, it's Liverpool. But you've got to have some belief. I, I think a lot of us as fans, as Arsenal fans, I think right now we are suppressing it a bit. I think because of last season, yeah, everyone's traumatized. They're Liverpool saying, saying "Yeah, they're right, they're saying yeah. game, take it game by game." I'm always the one that's a bit shameless and likes to enjoy it. But yeah, 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 I'm even wearing a Christmas jumper now. But but. No, I, I'm I'm enjoying it, bro. And I think as a fan, that's what you need to do, regardless of if we don't win it. I think I think that's with, nowadays modern day fans they don't want to not be shameless, but enjoy enjoy. Bro, we've got to enjoy this, bro. I know we're not oh, well, top now, but got to celebrate the wins. Bro, it's isn't it? crazy. It's probably we're battering teams. Sorry, yeah. I know you're on the end of one of those, but we are battering teams at the moment. So I'm enjoying it. Um, I think it is the City game and we've got them on the 31st of March. So Ooh. that is the decider. Away yeah. at the end. And I think that is, obviously there's other games, but I think that is that is the one that um, is the decider there. I see the comments, do one you, well, lad. Ooh. Is that me, are you? No, yeah, me, Cecil. Yeah, I see you lot. I'd like to know who won. Great for uh, Willock. Yeah, yeah, man. Big up, everyone. Um, do the splits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoop, I'll be running live, like, naming us now. Let me just have a good time. Oh, big up, man. I'm, I respect you doing it, even though you know your team's lost. It's fair play. And you're right by... Big up, Matt. He's right by the Arsenal fans. I'll be in it, mate. I'll yeah. be in it. I've done the, I've done the I'll FTV. I'll rate that. I'll rate that. I'll rate that. But yeah, no, we got to believe. we got to believe. Got to um, believe it. Yeah. yeah, man, enjoy it, man. It may not, it may not happen, but... Listen, let's finish on this for you, Cecil. I was speaking to a, a couple of other Arsenal fans. They they were saying, oh, we would love an Isaac. We had an Isaac. Oh, that finish oh, out. Bro. If you know me, bro, I've been screaming. But it's, it's bro, over Tony, Osherman. You can yeah. check, bro, check the tapes. I want, I love, bro, come on. No, sorry, yeah, he started, obviously, but he did. He's about 20% fish as well, by I, the way. How say that again? He's about 20% fish. This is what I'm saying, and he had that, he had the opportunity. I know it's, it's, it's nothing, really, but he cut inside, he smashed. But I was like, 
he's just for me he's a he's not just a great finisher I've seen him open up and put in the bottom corner like Thierry when he played against City and he done it unbelievable but like technically as well amazing he's tall and people won't think he's got good feet he's got great feet he's quick I love for me that's my sort of player I know Newcastle fans will be attached to him but I love this I'll always back him he's for me I want him back. Where's that number 14 as well? Exactly, exactly. We've got Eddie right now. Listen, for me, Isak would fit that shirt a lot better than him. Sorry, yeah, Eddie. Definitely. But, but that's, that's what it is. But yeah, Isak, over, for me, over everyone. That, which is crazy. Wow. Apart from Mbappe. But <laughs> obviously. Wait, I don't know who <laughs> but yeah, over Osherman, Tony. We've been wow. linked to so many players. I, I've always screamed for Isak. I, I, the, the, the level of footballer he is would fit so well within this Arsenal side. Like the yeah. quality, and, and we like to keep the ball. He can get involved and build up, and he can put the ball in the back of the net. So it costs a lot of money, though. You'd have to pay at least 100 mil, I reckon. Like we paid 60. I'll be real. That's the market these days. Right? It you is, want a striker. Yeah. If you're talking about Osman for yeah, 110, 120. Exactly, and I don't think he's worth that. He's actually more clear. Exactly. I think Ivan Tony you get for a little bit less. Yeah, um, you can get, I can get 80, 85 or 90, but I think it's like, for me, for Arsenal, he fits the profile. So yeah, man, bring me. Bring well, people are seeing the chat. He's ours. It's hands off, mate. He's a Geordie. Yeah, he's staying. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see, see. We'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. Listen, well, mate. Good luck for the rest of the season, bro. It's been a pleasure. Brother. Yeah, uh, Andrew, good luck with the rest of the season. Uh, if it could, baby. Yeah. Big up for Stuff from. Do I want you guys to get rid of him? Of course you do. Who else do you want to win? Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to think. Yeah, I wouldn't mind you guys picking yeah. up that fake up. Why not? Yeah, why not, mate? Yeah, Come yeah, on, support the team. There we go, then, people. I've just been live there with Cecil from EFTV. Let's have a little look at what you are seeing uh, in the comments. There's too many of them in the live there to get through. Day 300 people watching, please do like and subscribe to my channel TV. Just round off my thoughts there. Really poor tonight, really disappointing. Expected a lot more in terms of performance, not in result. I, 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 I thoroughly anticipated a defeat, but I thought we were poor and didn't give ourselves a chance with that performance. So that was uh, disappointing, but as I've just been joking there with, uh, with them lot, saying, you know, we have got bigger fish to fry. Let's, let's move on to the FA Cup on Tuesday night. I'll be there at Ewood Park, and that is the chance for us to get through the quarterfinal then you're one game away from a semi-final so that's, that's, that's a big one but one positive tonight from the game is Joe Willick's return and the goal for him he could be huge in the in the remainder of the season for us to come back and show his fitness his energy and like we've seen tonight in him an impact in front of goal so that can be good but overall I have to say it was it was very bad tonight in one of the one of the worst performances at one of the toughest grounds to come to so that, that didn't help at all but finished Arsenal 4 Newcastle won. Wait for the match day vlog, which absolutely kicked off, by the way. I was right next to the home fans. You don't want to miss that. And uh, we'll have a fan cam with one or two Arsenal fans as well. So cheers for watching, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll be at the uh, women's game tomorrow at St. James Park, straight off the train, back in the tune for that. Back to my travel lodge tonight. Great. Cheers, people. See you later. <laughs>